I've worked with the Oregon Environmental Council on a project to encourage sustainable cranberry growth in the south coast of Oregon. Together we decided that um, there had to be a better way to reward farmers for being good environmental stewards. You know, that was our goal is to, you know, we, we would like to leave this place better than we found it. We want to teach our kids this is, you know, this is what a salmon looks like, we want to keep them around. So we have 10 watersheds, they all have intact runs of wild salmon, and embedded in these watersheds are family farms. My name is Scott McKenzie, I'm a sheep and cattle rancher, cranberry farmer, uh, I have a construction business, and I'm a father. How does he create uh, a farm business that's economically viable and sustainable into the future so that it makes sense for his kids to make that their life? I'm hoping they're able to live in Curry County and live well. Gretchen and Randy Farr and their sons Aiden and Liam have been cranberry farmers for eight years now and for them it's really important to take care of the land and grow only cranberries that they would feed their own sons. And sometimes they'll be on our backs out you know working out in the bogs. You know when the time comes I would like them to go off to college and then if depending on what they Explore what they the want to do bit. We would love it if they would come back. We started out by working with the cranberry farmers to test out low impact pest and weed control methods. It looked like really the right way to go. To use softer pesticides, softer herbicides, less impact on the streams. You know, other people share with us, we share with them, hey, we do this for bugs or we do this for weeds. That's kind of a little unconventional, but it works real well. So. Before the formation of Clearwater Cranberries, you wouldn't be able to find uh, cranberries from these farmers. Um, and that's because they were sold into the commodity system, which is a really anonymous system. And Oregon berries, of course, are the reddest, sweetest, uh, juiciest, best berries. And so actually what happens is uh, manufacturers take Oregon berries and mix it with the other berries to enhance the product. Our berries go somewhere and they just kind of turn into a generic berry. So we are working with local cranberry farmers who are great environmental stewards to connect them to buyers who value that stewardship. It's both about having literally clean water in rivers, clear water, and a clear vision of the kind of food system we want to have. And as, a, as a business model, this is a sound way to do business. I hope that it sets an example for our other growers so that they'll join us in our way of growing cranberries and also in our marketing. And I hope Clearwater Cranberries itself grows and brings on more and more cranberry growers, but also that we see others adopt this model. And you know, we're we're proud of our we're proud of our berries and our practices and it'd be nice to get recognized for it. You know, somebody go, Hey, there's there's some of those cranberries from Clearwater. I mean that's <laughs> that's that'd be a pretty cool thing. And it'd be it'd be a real fun thing for the family down mm -hmm. the road, it'd be a fun thing to pass on. You know. Oh, yeah. hey, Clearwater, okay. So, you know, have, it'll just mean something.